it's fair to say that Genscape was doing big data before big data existed as a term. We have a proprietary set of data which we combine with over 55,000 other different data sets that we're collecting on a daily basis. And we're using all of this information to roll up into different models. There's so many clients that just sign up and trial us because they know that somebody else out there, their competitor has us, but they, so they, sh they want to know what they know. If you're not using our data, you're left in the dark and you're trading behind what everybody else already knows. SEER is allowing us to do very sophisticated, close to real-time analysis of electricity markets. Those prices change every five minutes. It's not unusual to have a, a day where you see the price go from $50 a megawatt hour to $1,000 a megawatt hour within the span of just a few minutes. This SEER platform advances our computational capability to do that. What I'm working on is uh, updating the, the reporting aspect uh, for, for the SEER model. For the user, what's going to be so interesting is not only the content, um, we're increasing the granularity of the data, also increasing the data that we can offer to different types of clients because of that granularity. So we can kind of you know, move more into retailers, people who own assets, beyond just purely cash traders. We're going to be looking towards more real-time updates, getting things out to them early in the morning. Um, we've started a report um, that goes out at 6 a.m that clients can look um, at on their phone. I think as we craft a framework, which is you know a best of class and a, a new future state, we're looking at big data capabilities where they'll be able to run analytics across a much broader array of data than they do today, um, and they'll do it without having to bog down their desktop. The world is changing rapidly, and customers need more information to make informed decisions so they can either make better trades, better risk management, or better operational decisions. Customers can have world-class analysis and recommendations for action delivered to them by us. And that's where we're really moving up the value chain to add more value to our customers and integrate our data into their workflow. Three to five years out, we would like what's at the fingertips of our analysts sitting in these chairs right now. And, and when they find out that critical piece of information for a marketplace, and when they click a button, is dispersing multiple messages across not just customers, but prospects and even larger adjacent markets. I think there's a lot of opportunity to expand more into the, the financial and equity markets. There's a lot of people out there that look at the total power consumption in the United States, and a lot of people use that number as kind of a benchmark on economic health. Our proprietary data you know, gives us that edge where we can provide information that no one else can provide. And any time you have an edge like that, there's going to be opportunities for somebody out there to use that information. We're really building the foundation uh, that will allow us to expand into different markets and even more so improve what we offer today. On the scale that Genscape is now, it's an ideal opportunity because it's in its, its, its early stage software growth cycle. And while there are a number of technologies in use, to bring that onto a common platform is, is much easier now than in the future. We're building out not just the marketing systems, but working with the sales teams to understand what is it the customers you know, most want from us. We're working with our platform and strategy and IT teams and product development teams to see how we can integrate this relationship and trust factor across our product lines, across the technology structures. In short, I think the brand message is one word, trust, and we're aiming to cultivate that bottom-up, top-down, everywhere with our customer interactions.